Hey guys, I'm gonna vlog from like right here, and this is about as high as the camera's gonna go, so I'll kneel down so the shot looks kind of okay. The reason I'm doing this is I have like 18 or 19 percent battery, and my cord happens to be extremely short. So I'm gonna try and keep my phone plugged in as I vlog. I mean, I could try and find, trying to find a place to like set this up so it looks really scholarly and everything. But whoa, I just did stuff. All right, so maybe like this. I think this is good, maybe, right? All right, this is gonna have to do. Anyways, I'll scoot back so maybe it looks better. I'm not sure. I'm trying to make everything look so scholarly and professional. Anyways, but what? Well, this is such a weird frame. Like I have the shadow in the back, and I've never seen my room at this angle. Um, looks like really weird. Anyways, but so yes, welcome to vlog like 274 or something. I swear we were gonna go to Universal Studios today for another surprise traveling vlog. And then we went over the beach idea, but um, the parent, actually the one that we went to the UCLA walk with um, in yesterday's traveling vlog, which sadly was a bit short, but was still pretty fun. Um, that mom takes everyone everywhere. She's like the nicest lady ever. And she wanted to take us to Universal today, but she decided to, um, well, she canceled the Universal idea because she wanted to relax. And then it turns out that after church today, because we go to um, the same church as them, she decided to take us, um, or Daniel and Nathan, to like their house. And I heard they went golfing and played tennis. So, no relaxing. They, she still took them. She's, she's so nice. But um, I stayed home, and pretty much I did a whole bunch of random scattered things from about 2 o'clock when we got home from Starbucks <coughs> until now, which is 9 o'clock, so 7 hours. I watched a movie called The Switch, it's PG-13, it was, um, I mean, it was, it was pretty good. I was entertained, it's not like I was bored, but it's not like it was a die-for movie, you know. Um, there's other movies, that, you know, I'd rather watch the Lego movie than that and stuff. And some part of it was kind of weird. Um, but yes, anyway, so yeah. Um, probably 3.5, 3.75 stars. No, I want, let's get weird. 3.875 stars, I would rate it. But yeah. Or if you want a simple 3.75. I mean, 8 put 3, 3.75. Yes, there we go. Anyways, but that's what I did. And then I watched a whole bunch of YouTube as normal. I mixed that in with, like, I put on the trampoline, I put my hands in my pocket and I just did the same trick while I jump up, land on my back and then bounce back up onto my feet. Did that repetitively for like 10 minutes for some reason until my legs couldn't take it. Um, then I started doing the sitting. Stands it, stands it for, you know, 5 minutes or whatever. Um, I took a really long biking run. What I did when I was biking, I'm, I'm like kneeling down for this video and I keep having to switch knees because my knee starts to hurt. Anyways, I did a, a bike. I went biking at the at the school we have next to our house today, and I pretended that was in a documentary. It was so weird. Like usually, I take my speaker and listen to Uptown Funk and go speeding around, like, having so much fun, and it's fun. But today, I decided to skip the music for once. And it was really weird because I, I just biked around really, it was a cool experience. I biked around slowly and get this, I pretended I was in a documentary. <laughs> it was it was really weird, but I would talk really slow like I was saying something really meaningful. Like, I've been wandering these places, these hills for years upon years. This place never gets old. I've had so many friends here. So many great times, yeah. You know, sometimes we run them till we get buried. I remember <laughs> one year we just ran them and ran them straight day until we got ten feet. Ah, oh, man, those were the times. I met my best friend here. That's obviously not true. I made it up on the spot, but it was really fun. I instead of speeding around, I'm biking around really slowly, like it's a trying to be peaceful, like. Oh. This place brings back good memories. So peaceful during the summertime. It's spring, not to get you confused, but I, it was so weird just riding around peacefully, talking like a Lincoln ad, um, Matthew McConaughey right there. Anyway, so that's pretty much it, and we're five minutes into the video. Perfect. 
So I hope you all enjoyed. It is Sunday night, and everyone knows that means school tomorrow. And I'm kind of depressed because um, the last week was the last week of blog block schedule, and at first everyone hated it, including me. But I, I started to like it now. Like even after a while, it doesn't take long to get used to two hour periods. Um, like I I pretty much got used to having class for two hours, and I kind of liked it because. Um, my health teacher was talking about it also how the teachers feel like they can go on and stuff and feel like they don't need to hurry us more that's one thing and then I feel like we get more done because like you do so much in a period it feels like you're just getting a ton done um, and which is pretty cool but the biggest thing is it is so much easier to manage homework you think now you're probably thinking oh yeah hunter but since you have your class every other day uh, you probably just um, do twice the amount of homework. Well, we probably do, but it's just the mindset, the whole, it's like some brain effect on you, but you actually feel like you have less homework, like, it's, it's really weird, but I felt like I had less homework, because instead of doing four or five periods of homework, depending on if we, if I had to do health homework, or someone ran into a door outside. Um, uh, where was I? You, you do two periods, and even though the two periods might have a ton of homework, you're still only doing two periods of homework, and it, the effect on your brain makes you feel like you don't have much to do. You're like, oh, I just have to type up a report for language arts, and I have a big math paper due. You know, yeah, they're big, but at least there's only two. You know, rather than doing half the report, half the paper, and then two homework assignments for the other two classes, history and, 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 and science, <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm seven minutes in. So s s that, that's kind of it, it's, I like it, I like it. It's pretty cool, but sadly we're going back to normal. Um, but it'll be nice to have normal again, all these really short periods um, and more homework. And now the testing's over, and the block schedule's over. There's no more weirdness in the schedule. In fact, the only weird thing that for the rest of the year won't be the um, last week of school because there's, like, won't well, the last week of school and then Memorial Day weekend for us Americans, I think. I think it's only... Right? Memorial Day is only for Americans, I think, right? And President... Wow. Amer us Americans make up a lot of holidays. Fourth of July... President's Day, Memorial Day. I wonder if Canadians celebrate Mother's Day and Father's Day. That's a good question. I'm gonna stop. I just hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you like this video, leave a like. If you dislike this video, leave a dislike. Don't forget to share your opinion in the comment section down below. And if you happen to be Canadian, i.e. living in Vancouver, that kid, uh, or in a forest, I believe, um, tell me, do you guys celebrate Mother and Father's Day? I'm all of a sudden really curious. Uh, and I will see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.